Okay, guys, this is part two of the Anycubic Photon S um, printing tutorial. Um, part one was prepping the file and slicing it ready. This is going to be um, around uh, printing. So we have our Photon S unit here. Just turn it on at the side, wait for it to boot. Um, has a uh, LED um, touch screen on the front, very basic. Um, so I guess the, uh, the most important thing is make sure that your um, tray is completely level uh, and there's separate videos and there's actually instructions that come with it on using a bit of paper and then getting, uh, you know what, just a very small gap just so you can pull the paper out. You've got your vat down the bottom. You always wanna make sure that that is nice and clean. Um, and make sure you've cleaned underneath your plate as well. So we've got some um, different types of resin here. Um, comes in different sizes. So we've got the gray, um, 500 grams, black, and we also have the clear. So we're gonna make this black because it's gonna be part of a, a coil. So first tip is you want to give your resin a really good shake. We'll try and do this without making it. Just to make sure that it's, um, you know, there's no bits that have been settled on it. So just given that a, um, you always want to make sure that um, you've, you know, tipped any excess. Don't leave it sitting in the, the vat, any excess resin. So, this bit I don't normally do with gloves, but definitely the cleanup you will need gloves. So I'm gonna put about of a third in the tray, not too much and enough. So you can see there that um, we've got the uh, black resin sitting in the vat. Make sure I put the lid back on securely, put that onto the side. Um, Comes with a USB key, uh, which you insert into the side. And it'll start flickering red once it's reading from it. Um, now, really, we just want to close uh, the door. Don't print with that open. Down onto print, and you'll see all the images um, that are already on there so i've already got a few images so i want to scroll through and i'm not sure if you can see that one there i have one called coil dot photon um s and that is the image we want to print today um has all the supports um on it so we simply just press on that see a larger preview of it make sure we've got the uh, right image and click on the play button now the uh, tray will start to lower down um, into the vat and uh, you know you won't really see anything happen uh, for a while um, so basically um, we're stopping this video in a minute and then we're gonna come back uh, in a few hours and just see what we've got we'll just see it lower it down so you can see that it's just sort of you know covering the top of the tray there. Don't want um, too much uh, resin in there if you're only doing a small job, because you just have to tip it back in. Um, it's a bit messy. So that's gonna be warming up the resin now. You can see we've got our um, bottom layer with all the supports in there, and you can see that uh, it has an estimated time of seven hours, 29 minutes. So. Even for something small as this, it does take a long time. So it's one of those things that you um, sort of can either set at night time and let it run or let it run all day uh, and then come back and check on it. Um, so we're just gonna leave this for there now and uh, we'll come back once um, we can actually see something coming out of the uh, resin vat. Okay, um, we are checking back in seven and a bit hours later one minute to go, so it's pretty much got nothing left to, s to splice. 
Um, and because this one's not that high, it's a little bit hard to um, see anything until we uh, lift up the, um, the front screen. Really, um, any uh, imperfections, but we won't really know until we've cleaned it up. Um, whether we've got any issues with the, uh, the print job itself. And it's a little bit hard to see with the black resin. That's probably about the best I can get it for now. Um, plates returning to its home position and we'll be able to uh, um, get a better look at it once we get it off the, uh, the tray, so. Okay, we uh, are now going to do the um, the last phase, um, and that is uh, the cleanup. So, first thing you want to do is prep your clean area. So, I've got this little bucket here, um, which I've got methylated spirits in, but you can have the rubbing alcohol um, also. I want to lift, first of all, turn off your unit at the power and then undo the plate now just want to make sure you don't let that drop into the vat so as it gets there and it will slide off um, nicely so as you can see we've got the um the item that we've uh, printed out and it's uh yeah it's looking pretty good a little bit of uh so there's a little tiny little bit of uh resonance leak there but overall that's uh that's pretty good so all right i'm just gonna sit that down there so basically what you want to do now is uh is sort of just get underneath the item and release it off so it should come off pretty easy you want to give the plate a good clean so give that a good wipe over um so there's no resin stuck to it make sure that that's yeah nice and clean just sit that to the side you can give your um 3d item a nice rinsing and um what you're also going to want to do is rip the supports off so most of these supports should come off pretty much cleanly as you can see there it came off pretty much in one go um, and uh, yeah, that's that's not too bad. So just give that a bit of a, a clean over. Make sure you get any excess um, resin off your design. And you let that. You know, you need to let it sit in the sun, but it's not time now, so we're not going to have uh, be able to do that. But we'll just put that to the side there now. Clean that away. Put your gloves on. I want to make sure we put, get. I'm selecting black. I want to make sure we put the excess um, resin, which is in, it's just been heated up. Just like that. Pull out your um, your vat. It's got a little scoop bit in it. And try not to uh, waste any of the. Um, the product, so yeah, not sure if you can see that or not. Got the right angle, but it's all going back in nicely. Definitely need to do with these gloves. This is the the messy part of um of uh, cleaning of resin printing, and you can just also give that a, a bit of a scrape as well, just to get any excess um, resin that's left over. Get that out. Okay, once you've um, emptied all that out, I'm gonna dip your um, alcohol or your um, methylated spirits and 
pretty clean. I found this is the best way to do it. And then you want to just take one more, a dry one, and uh, give that a nice wipe over just to get any residual resin that may have uh, been caught there. Dry it off nicely. Tray's got a few scratches on it. Um, I'm gonna try and do this so it's uh, nice and clean. And uh, you can slide the, uh, make sure you give that a bit of a clean as well. You don't want anything showing that. There'll be some stoppers there. You can push that down. Make sure your vat is nice and secure. Make sure your plate is nice and secure as well. So that'll flip back onto there. And then just screw it back in as such. Nice and tight. And uh, you can get the front bit of white down just to make sure there's no dust or anything. Lay it down so it's all nice and clean now ready for um, the next print job. Put the lid back on the resin. Let's secure that. Scraper, make sure you don't have any excess residue. And that's, you know, sometimes you might need a Stanley knife or something similar to get the, um, the support off, but I didn't need to. And you can sort of take your gloves off and wrap that all up in um, one unit so that it's all there trying to save as much but anyway we will come back um later for the uh, finished product when i um i'll mount that onto the um metal detector but uh yeah that's come out quite nicely did take seven and a half hours so don't be in a rush um, giving that a nice clean. Got this just off um, Thingiverse website and uh, yeah, last step is to mount it. So we're just gonna let that dry and harden up a little bit. Okay, ciao.